Philip Marlowe is a talented personal detective, at some point, a rich female and an heiress of an oil agency, who also happens to be the daughter of a well-known actress, desires to rent him to locate her mystery lover, Nico Peterson. Peterson is a props director for a movie production house. Her call is Claire Cavendish, and she asks Marlowe to secretly conduct an research because she has misplaced track of her lover for pretty a while. The final time she met Nico turned into at a club referred to as Corbata. She has attempted to locate him, and even looked for him at his residence. But strangely, he turned into not there, but she located the milk provider had no longer been cancelled and the newspapers piled up at the veranda of his house. These implied that Nico had mysteriously disappeared. Marlowe started his investigation by using visiting Peterson's house, however there was no sign of life interior. Dot. A quick whilst later, Peterson's neighbor showed up and said that he had now not visible Peterson for the past seven weeks. He said that commonly there had been continually individuals who got here to Peterson's house searching out him, both because a dead or a husband became looking for his spouse as Peterson changed into referred to as a womanizer. He additionally added that, other than Marlowe, every week in the past there were additionally two Mexicans who came looking for him. Based totally in this facts, Marlowe then met his vintage pal, Joe Inexperienced, a police officer, to find his lot statistics as viable approximately who Peterson virtually became. Joe said that Peterson become a cheater, a spouse snatcher, and a man with many problems. He then informed Marlowe that Peterson had definitely been observed dead after being hit and run by an unknown character in front of the Corbata Club. The twist of fate left Peterson's face damaged, making it tough to apprehend him. After receiving facts from his friend, Marlowe moved on to the scene of the incident on the Corbata Club. He sneaked in to look for any data he might be capable of discover, but the guards caught him. Later on, Marlowe met Joe again. Joe instructed him in critical piece of statistics that Peterson had been stabbed before the coincidence, and he thought that this type of component became suspicious. After getting the trendy records from Joe, Marlowe headed to the Cavendish-owned family mansion. Whilst he arrived, he met someone in the front yard of the residence. That man appeared dissatisfied after having a big fight with Claire's mom. Claire explained that he became Joseph O'Reilly, her mom's monetary consultant, who would quickly become an ambassador to England. Earlier than he ought to convey his purpose to tell Claire that Peterson have been discovered lifeless, Mr. Cavendish suddenly arrived and suspected that Marlowe changed into his wife's contemporary fling. Marlowe advised Mr. Cavendish that he become hired through his wife to find her missing earrings. Claire disputed the news of Peterson's loss of life due to the fact, at the day Nico turned into found useless, she by accident noticed him in Tijuana while her mom asked her to see a few horses there. According to the records she were given, humans believed that Peterson become a movie producer and that the antiques he turned into sporting have been props for filming purposes. Marlowe felt that Claire changed into not being completely honest with him so he refused to hold the research and walked away. On his way out of Claire's residence, he met Claire's mother, Dorothy Quincannon. It grew to become out that Dorothy had traced Marlowe's heritage. She turned into curious about what her daughter wanted, but Marlowe refused to expose her patron's confidential facts. Marlowe changed into increasingly curious about the case he became dealing with, so he determined to visit Peterson's grave. As soon as there, he unexpectedly met a female who become visiting Peterson's grave. Marlowe attempted to chase her, however sadly, he misplaced her. Following his visit, Marlowe met Joe to invite if the police had located a suspect in the hit-and-run incident that killed Peterson. However, up until now, no one have been charged as the wrongdoer. Joe turned into curious about Marlowe's purchaser. He assumed that the client need to be Peterson's younger sister. But Marlowe denied it and stated he turned into working with someone who knew that Peterson had staged his demise. Marlowe and Joe found irregularities in this example, together with the victim's identity process performed internally by Corbata Club manager, Floyd Hansen and the reality that Peterson's frame become cremated in a rush. The following day, thanks to Joe's help, Marlowe become able to meet Floyd Hansen and ask a few questions concerning Peterson's loss of life. While on foot to Hansen's workplace, he by accident saw the woman he noticed the day prior to this at Peterson's grave. Marlowe told Hansen that he suspected that the person who died inside the accident become now not Peterson but a person else who become intentionally killed for a cause. Hansen denied Marlowe's announcement and stated that it became Peterson's sister who had identified the dead guy as Peterson. While Marlowe asked where Peterson's sister turned into, Hansen told Marlowe to ask the police alternatively. After the meeting, Marlowe made his manner to the girl he had visible earlier. 
She claimed that she changed into Lynn Peterson, Nico Peterson's sister. However, because Hansen stored looking her and even told his guys to kick her out of the club, Lynn asked Marlo to satisfy her tonight at a rubdown parlor known as Cabana. Later that night time, while Marlo reached the location that Lynn referred to, he could not discover her in her room, rather, he had to address Hansen's men. The subsequent day, Marlowe become invited by Dorothy to meet her. Dorothy tried to bribe Marlowe into telling her approximately the consequences of his investigation concerning Nico Peterson. But, Marlowe remained company in his stance, he could now not offer any statistics concerning his work with Claire. Dorothy then revealed a mystery that the financial consultant who met Marlowe the opposite day at her house, O'Reilly, changed into her lover. Dorothy hadn't instructed him that Claire turned into her daughter. He handiest knew that Claire changed into Dorothy's niece. Dorothy suspected that Claire changed into flirting with O'Reilly, for he had recently sold her a studio to assist her profession, and following her investigation, the payment for the studio got here from Claire. She was concerned that there has been a conspiracy among O'Reilly and Claire to take away her, and she thought that each one of these incidents had something to do with Peterson's death. On the give up in their verbal exchange, Dorothy told Marlowe a few records she were given from her personal detective, the fact that Peterson had any other lover named Amanda Toxteth, an extra that he should meet at the Pacific Picture Studio. Nicely, to make a long tale short, Marlowe met Amanda Toxteth at her place of job, which turned out to be Dorothy's studio. Amanda told him that Nico turned into a conquering type of man but did now not need an intimate relationship. Marlowe asked Amanda for some records approximately the business dealings among Nico Peterson and a few Mexicans. Amanda told him that there was one business that become doing nicely in Mexico, which became none aside from tablets. After you have data from Amanda, Marlowe revisited Nico Peterson's house. He barged into the residence to look for clues that might be determined. When Marlowe wanted to read a be aware he observed on the desk, Lynn, who additionally came about to be in the house, spotted him. Lynn asked Marlowe the cause of his coming and why he barged into her brother's residence. Marlowe claimed that he became Nico's pal who changed into hired by using someone to research his disappearance. Marlowe assured Lynn that her brother turned into now not dead however that he had fabricated his loss of life. A brief at the same time as later, Mexicans entered the residence and asked Lynn about a girl named Serena. Lynn attempted to run far away from the house, and one of them went after her even as the alternative man became taken down by means of Marlo. The one who turned into chasing Lin managed to catch her, and on the equal time, Marlo arrived and pointed his gun at him. He asked him who Serena become. Marlo then shot him in the leg and once more asked wherein and who Serena was. However all of sudden, someone hit Marlo from behind. While he wakened, a person named Cedric pointed his gun at Marlo. Cedric then took him to meet his boss, Lou Hendricks, who become looking forward to him interior Nico's house. Hendrick then presented to take Marlowe return to his house. During their force, Hendricks instructed Marlowe that Peterson had labored with him as a Mexican tarantula dealer. Hendricks applied to pay Marlowe. He wanted Marlowe to inform him if one day he controlled to find Nico, as there has been still unfinished business among them. But, Marlowe refused to paintings with him. After they arrived at Marlowe's address, it turned out that the address become no longer Marlowe's residence however Joe's workplace. Marlowe desired to file Lynn's kidnapping and inform Joe that his gun had been stolen by two Mexicans. Joe then gave him a brand new one of the identical kind as an alibi in case a person ever used the stolen gun. That evening, a detective named Bernie Oles, who become dispatched via Joe, got here to Marlowe to follow up on the document of Lynn's disappearance. A brief at the same time as later, Claire additionally arrived at Marlowe's residence to ask approximately the progress of Peterson's research. Claire then shared a tale approximately her past. For six years, she lived with nuns so that her mom will be with O'Reilly. Claire then said goodbye to Marlowe because she had an appointment with someone someplace. Secretly, Marlowe followed Claire's car, which turned into heading to O'Reilly's residence. While he turned into looking Claire, he turned into abruptly surprised via Dorothy's arrival. She came to show her suspicions approximately her daughter's affair with O'Reilly. The next morning, Marlowe and Detective Bernie headed to a river after being knowledgeable of the discovery of Lynn's body. Lynn were discovered dead. In a while, they went to the Corbata membership and found the auto of Mexicans and Lou Hendrick's car parked inside the club's parking lot, and that they suspected that those humans have been involved in Lynn's demise. Detective Bernie then requested Marlowe to take over his investigation as it became unlawful for him to accomplish that without a warrant. Later that night, Marlowe sneaked into the Corbata membership, 
after which he sneaked into Hansen's room and stuck him whilst he changed into smoking drugs. Marlowe asked him what the relationship changed into among him, the Mexican, and Lou Hendricks. Why are their vehicles all parked in Corbata's yard, and is the ambassador to England or Dorothy their boss? Floyd then invited Marlowe to talk about all his questions over a drink. Secretly, Floyd blended something into the drink. He then began his story through telling him about his unlawful business, promoting pills on the club. He then took Marlowe downstairs to fulfill Hendrix. Marlowe, who reputedly already knew that there has been something mixed in his drink, dumped the drink and pretended to faint after consuming it. It turned into at that second that Floyd found out the fact. Lou Hendrix and the Mexicans had been his enterprise companions who had been working with Peterson. They had cheated on him by way of hiding a number of his drugs. Floyd additionally admitted that he had killed Lynn because the poor woman had not followed his guidelines. For him, Peterson's disappearance became no longer a big deal. Marlowe turned into then taken to a room where Lou Hendrick become being held captive. In that room, Marlowe additionally found Mexicans who had died after being tortured. He become installed a room with Cedric. Hendrick's motive force. When they left him, Marlowe released Cedric and invited him to paintings together. In the meantime, in some other room, Floyd faced Lou Hendrix to interrogate him approximately Serena, the woman who was closing scene with Peterson and concealed the drugs. Lou discovered that the Serena he become seeking out was no longer a girl however an ornate statue in an aquarium. Marlowe and Cedric managed to discover a gun inside the warehouse, in order that they rushed out and shot Floyd. At some point of the shootout, Cedric by chance shot the aquarium, shattering the glass and dropping the Serena statue, which contained the drugs, causing all the drugs saved in it to be washed away via the water. Hendrix scolded Cedric for not seeking to save the rest of the drugs, and in response, Cedric shot his boss dead. After the entire mess was over, Marlowe and Cedric pronounced the incident to Detective Bernie. Upon returning to his domestic, Marlowe becomes surprised through Peterson's arrival. He appreciated him as a wonderful detective who became able to dismantle the fabrication of his dying. Marlowe told him approximately the dying of her sister, Lynn. Unusually, Peterson wasn't saddened via the statistics because Lynn became simplest his stepsister. Peterson's purpose in coming to look Marlowe became to invite him to supply his message to Claire. He asked Claire to meet him this night at the Pacific Studios prop warehouse because he had an object that Ambassador O'Reilly desired. Marlowe then asked him about his dating with Dorothy, given that she also asked him to find Nico. Nico then said that he did not recognize something about Dorothy's reasons, maybe she become just involved that her daughter would take her lover. Marlowe held a meeting with Claire and Dorothy to shed mild on all the problems that have been occurring. Marlowe lured Claire by means of telling her that Peterson had run off with a woman named Serena and brought drugs with him. However, Claire's expression did not hint at her jealousy in the direction of Peterson. However, Dorothy did not appear very inquisitive about the problem. At this factor, Claire found out a mystery. She said that Dorothy had clearly been dumped by Orly, and he was the use of her to seduce the ambassador. With top-notch resentment, Claire walked away. Marlowe rushed after her and got here over to her. Claire said that she would be sending Price for Marlowe's services quickly. Marlowe then told her that Peterson had come to look him and asked her to return to Pacific Studios prop warehouse later this night. Later that night time, Marlowe changed into driven by Cedric to the Pacific Studios prop warehouse. Alongside the manor, Cedric told Marlowe the entirety he knew for the duration of his time working with Lou Hendricks. He discovered that the warehouse Peterson changed into regarding became wherein Peterson worked as a film props director and in which he smuggled drugs and vintage props from Mexico to England. Peterson were operating with Floyd, Lou Hendricks, and Ambassador O'Reilly. It turned into possibly that Peterson secretly had different plans. He was gathering information at the drug offers he were going for walks to blackmail Ambassador O'Reilly. As Claire arrived on the warehouse, Peterson showed her a briefcase containing drug transaction statistics. They will use those transaction records to blackmail Ambassador O'Reilly and plan to run as a ways away as viable in a while. Whilst Claire changed into checking the suitcase, around the identical time, Marlowe arrived at the warehouse. Peterson, who discovered of Marlowe's arrival, commenced shooting at him. Marlowe changed into finally in a position to avoid Peterson's photographs, however suddenly, Claire shot Peterson as an alternative. She then set fire to the warehouse and all the files of drug transactions, at the side of Peterson's frame. At that moment, Marlowe permit Claire move, then he referred to as the fire brigade and met Detective Bernie. To Detective Bernie, Marlowe gave false data approximately the incident that had took place. The next day, 
Marlowe turned into followed by way of Cedric to attend Claire's invitation, who seemingly now had a vital role on the workplace of Ambassador O'Reilly. Claire then instructed him that her mother changed into again in the movie with complete financial aid from her and the Ambassador, O'Reilly. She additionally said that the Ambassador favored Marlowe's thoughtfulness and provided him a function as head of protection with a massive salary as well as a retirement fund. Marlowe changed into thankful for the offer. However he refused to just accept it. He recommended that Cedric take over the position offered to him. And if you like my videos please press like and subscribe.